and welcome to this weekly video from Rolling Ridge called Take Your Time Tuesdays. My name is John Kimley and I'm the program director at Rolling Ridge. As this pandemic wears on, we can easily find ourselves in any given day filled with preoccupations or distractions. Preoccupations by loads of what ifs or what nows or how come or the distractions of anything and everything in any given day. Today I'd like to remind us of a vital mindset that provides a more sustainable response rather than preoccupation or distraction. This particular mindset emerges from core teachings of ancient wisdom traditions that find reinforcement in contemporary science. This mindset is called staying present, being and remaining present, being right where I am right now. The present moment is where real life is happening. The space of now is where life is at its fullest. This present moment is the opportunity for me to connect with all of life, with all that I am, body, mind, and soul. Whenever I'm feeling stressed or anxious, or if restlessness or even boredom starts to mount, remembering that I am in the present moment and choosing to stay in the present moment shifts my heart and body and mind toward a connection with life's true source, to God's ready resources like wisdom or peace, agency or resiliency a connection to my true identity in this present moment as one beloved from the foundation of the world. Remembering to stay present reconnects us to the wellspring of life. A core practice of staying present is what I call PAIR, P-A-I-R. This is a spiritual practice I'd like to share with you today that's very simple and it's one of those practices I can do anywhere at any time. I'm going to just explain the practice to you and it's so simple that you can just take this and start practicing it wherever and whenever you find yourself needing to stay in the present moment. The word is pair and P is pause. Take a step back, whatever you're doing, just step out of that relentless push and pull of the day and hit the pause button on the life remote. The A is awareness. Check in with yourself. Check in with what's around you, what's going on outside of you, what's going on around you, and also what's going on within you. What are you feeling? What do you notice going in, on inside your body? Pause, become aware, and simply recognize what is, not to judge it, not to fix it, but simply notice. And once you notice, the I is inquire. Ask yourself, what do I need right now to stay present? Do I need calm? Do I need encouragement? Do I need companionship? In light of all that I notice around and within me, what, I, what do I need right here and right now. Inquire. And the R is then receive. Offering my openness, uh, a gesture of re receptivity, not to create or to uh, decide a certain solution, but simply to be open and willing to the companion of our souls, who is always willing to come alongside and offer what we need when we need it. Sometimes a gesture of receptivity helps anchor this intention of being open. It could be something like putting a hand on your heart or having your palms just open and uplifted. Pair. Pause. Awareness. Inquire. Receive. This practice doesn't take a lot of time although it certainly has the potential of lingering at any one of these pieces. The point, though, is to become intentional at staying present and aware and connected to life 
flowing in the very moment. Again, not to be preoccupied, not to choose distraction, but to choose presence. Pause, aware, inquire, receive. Practicing pair echoes the reality that nothing separates me from God, who is unconditional love. Practicing pair places me in the present moment with the Divine One who is with me always. From one who demonstrates that nothing, absolutely nothing separates me from the love of God. Practicing pair helps me remember. Where am I? Where do I go? Where is life in its fullness? Right here, right now. So I encourage you today and the days that come, practice this simple spiritual practice of pair. This is a heart practice. And I want to invite you to consider one of the uh, core events that's coming up for Rolling Ridge called Way of the Heart. Way of the Heart is a five session uh, course that we are going to be offering starting in January that helps us to reorient our lives toward this heart level. You might find it interesting. I hope you check it out on the website for Rolling Ridge. And until next time, we wish you God's blessing.